Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this MOSFET circuit and for the given circuit, we have been asked to find the values of the resistor such that this condition gets satisfied. That means for the chosen values of the resistors, the gate voltage VG should be equal to 5 volt while the drain voltage VD should be equal to 11 volt and the drain current ID which is flowing through the circuit should be equal to 4 mA. So first of all, the given circuit is the voltage divider biasing circuit. And here, for the DC analysis, all these coupling capacitors will act as an open circuit. Now this MOSFET is the depletion type of MOSFET and for the given MOSFET, we have been given the values of the IDSS and the VP. So here, IDSS is equal to 9 mA while the pinch of voltage VP is equal to minus 3 volt. And here, we have been given that the required drain current ID is equal to 4 mA. Now assuming the MOSFET is operating in the saturation region, we can assume that the drain current ID can be given by the Shockley's equation. That means drain current ID is equal to IDSS times 1 minus VGS divided by VP whole square, right? So here the strain current ID is equal to 4 mA while the IDSS is equal to 9 mA. So we can say that 4 mA is equal to 9 times 1 minus VGS divided by minus 3 whole square. That means 4 by 9 is equal to 1 plus VGS divided by 3 whole square. That means 4 by 9 is equal to 1 plus VGS divided by 3. Or if we further simplify it, then this VGS will come out as minus 1 volt. That means here VGS is equal to minus 1 volt and here we have been already given the value of the gate voltage. So once we know the value of the VGS, then from the gate voltage, we can find the voltage Vs. And using the drain current, we can find the value of the source resistor. And likewise, we can also find the value of the drain resistor. So this VGS is equal to Vg minus Vs. And here, gate voltage Vg is equal to 5 volt, right? That means we can say that voltage Vs is equal to 5 volt minus VGS. That is equal to 5 volt minus minus 1 volt. That is equal to 6 volt. That means here, this voltage Vs is equal to 6 volt. And the current which is flowing through this source resistor is equal to 4 mA. That is same as the drain current. That means here, we can say that voltage Vs is equal to Id times Rs. That is equal to 4 mA times Rs. And here, Vs is equal to 6 volt. That means 6 volt is equal to 4 mA times Rs. That means Rs is equal to 6 volt divided by 4 mA. That is equal to 1.5 kilo ohm. Similarly, let us find the value of the drain resistor. So here we have been given that this drain voltage Vd is equal to 11 volt. That means from this we can say that here this drain current ID is equal to 15 volt minus Vd divided by Rd. That means Rd is equal to 15 volt minus Vd divided by Id. That is equal to 15 volt minus 11 volt divided by 4 mA. That is equal to 1 kilo ohm. That means here the value of this drain resistor Rd is equal to 1 kilo ohm while the Rs is equal to 1.5 kilo ohm. That means the ratio of this Rd and the Rs is equal to 1 kilo ohm divided by 1.5 kilo ohm. That is equal to 0.667. So in this way, we found the value of the Rd and the Rs. Similarly, now let us find the value of the R1 and the R2. So here, since the MOSFET is the depletion type of MOSFET, so here we can assume that this gate current IG is approximately equal to 0. That means no current is flowing into the gate terminal. 
that means through the supply the current is flowing through this resistor R1 and the R2 and here we have been given that the current which is flowing through this voltage divider is equal to 0.05 milliampere that means this current is equal to 0.05 milliampere let's say this current is equal to I so this current I can be given as 15 volt divided by R1 plus R2 that means R1 plus R2 is equal to 15 volt divided by 0 0.05 milliampere that is equal to 300 kilo ohm that means the summation of this R1 and R2 is equal to 300 kilo ohm and here we have been also given the required value of the gate voltage Vg that is equal to 5 volt that means the ratio of this voltage R1 and R2 should be such that we get the Vg is equal to 5 volt or we can say that this 5 volt is equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 times 15 volt so if we rearrange this expression then we can say that here this R1 is equal to 2R2 and we also know the summation of this resistor R1 and the R2 that means R1 plus R2 is equal to 300 kilo ohm so from this two expression we can say that this 3R2 is equal to 300 kilo ohm that means R2 is equal to 100 kilo ohm while the R1 is equal to 200 kilo ohm so in this way we found the value of the R1 and the R2 that means here this R1 is equal to 100 kilo ohm or 0.1 mega ohm R2 is equal to 200 kilo ohm or 0.2 mega ohm while the ratio of this RD and the RS is equal to 0.667 so from this we can say that for the given question this B is the correct answer